Well, we can get the other one the box. Okay. David, you're on. Well, uh, hi there. <laughs> About the uh, book fairs yeah. in general. Well, they're a great, great thing. I've met many people who become friends and actually sold some magazines from time to time. And uh, we share a whole world together, and it's really what helps hold the small press together. Yeah, you were with the book fair since yes. the beginning. Okay. Yes, I was at the first Huntington one, Hartford. Huntington Hartford, where they had to uh, close the place down. The fire department had to queue people up because so many people were coming in. Yeah, it was great. And that time you had the sandwich boards. That's right. I still have my sandwich board. It's under the table. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'll bring it out. That's right. Yeah. And uh, your experiences with the book fairs, over the years, are there, mean, are there any ones that are your favorite? In terms of uh, sales location and, and location. Sales. Oh, you mean what my uh, opinions? Yeah. Uh, well, decor. perspective on it. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, we all have our philosophies in mind, isn't everybody's? Uh, I found that for us, uh, the best uh, fair was the one that was in the basement of the uh, of the uh, uh, Lincoln Center because we got people just coming out and uh, didn't know anything about the small press and that's what I think the book fair should be located in a strategic place where it gets a whole flow of people that would otherwise not know about it because if we're just talking to ourselves and people that know about the small press and care about it and come that's terrific and that's a basis but to me it seems like we should reach people that we don't know about that's why I sold on the street you know, I would give out these catalogs from small press book fairs when I sold things because people have no idea. The general public has no idea that we that the small press exists. What do you think about the idea that this might be the last book fair? Have you heard that? Yes, I've heard that since it was sent in print to me. Yeah. And uh, I think that it's a shame uh, myself. But uh, you know, small press people are strung out. Where if, if you have convention of ball bearing manufacturers, they get together and they can do themselves some good by getting together. They make money and they put money into it and they make women. Small press, if you're putting out a small press, you're already in trouble and you're strung out as a non-profit. And then you get together and form an organization, like an organization of, of uh, one-legged people. I mean, and then what can that organization do? And then, and then you put a book fair into it. And the people that are involved in this is very hard. And the fact that this, the people have made these book fairs for 12 times over how many years is remarkable in itself and I can't see I wish I could be more <laughs> help to fill the void because you just can't can't do it endlessly. It's a lot of work, tremendous amount of work. What's what's the latest publication by Fox seven forty nine? Well that's a, that's a real sore point. Uh, do you have we don't have one. Uh -huh. The book that you you have it's been out since nineteen seventy nine. It's a classic, you see. No, it, it, it's, we have another one in the works. We have it in the computer, and all we need to do is get the money to print it and, uh, and uh, figure out a way to distribute it. Again, it's the basic problem. That's what the book fair is good at. But I, I go out in the street, and I, I haven't been able to, and that's why we haven't been able to come out. Since my wife died, Mary, who was really uh, a large, over half of this magazine, and so it's just been too difficult to do it all. Yeah. You, you, you still have we still meet every week, and we still read everything that comes in. And I sometimes say that we have a new a new magazine. So the new concept is that we do all the reading, and you subscribe, and you don't even get magazines. You don't have anything piling up on you. We do all the reading for you, so you don't have to worry about these things, uh, obligations to read magazines that pile up on your tables, and desks. But I don't really believe that. <laughs> And it's not even that funny. <laughs> but anyhow, that's what's happening. But we have a good time doing it. And we will have an issue by and by. Where, where on the streets are you now?